We are two days away from the premiere of the ninth episode of The House of the Dragon, one that will have to deal with the effects of the loss of King Viserys. The succession process has begun, but perhaps, it will not take place in the expected way. In the past few hours, different pictures have been revealed. This ninth episode promises to initiate a direct confrontation between sides. So in this video, we will be analyzing these new photographs of scenes that were revealed. If you want to know this and more, stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Before we start with this analysis, if you want to participate in our Fonka Pops giveaway and the book Fire and Blood, from which the House of the Dragon was adapted, you just have to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and tell us which character you think should be king, and why. The winner will be revealed on November 20th. The first promotional photograph revealed is of Lady Mazaria. In this picture we can see her sitting at a table, talking with a person. We know that she is currently in King's Landing spying on Alicent. She has servants close to the Queen, watching every step she makes. She is possibly one of the people who keeps Damon informed of everything that happens inside the Kingdom's castle. And in the future, she will begin to take much more prominence. We should see her as Larry Strong's counterpart in the Black Team. She will be someone who brings intelligence to the battle ahead. The next image revealed is of Alicent. We see that she is still wearing her green clothes, and we see that her hairstyle is similar to the one she used when she was younger. She appears to be in the King's Council Chamber. Alicent must make the decision to confront Rhaenyra and Daemon, and take the throne for her son. Or accept a peaceful succession, and possibly face the end. For there is no doubt that Daemon would end all Hightowers. We move on to a photograph of Queen Alicent with her father, the King's Hand, Otto Hightower, and Kristen Cole. This scene, possibly shows the meeting that the King's Council has, after they learn the news of the loss of King Viserys. We can see that at the table there are several people absent at this meeting, as we can see these circular figures in the middle of the table, which represents that the meeting is a private one, and that there are no representatives of certain people. We also see that there is concern on Alicent's face. We move on to a scene, in which Alicent is holding his son Eamon's hand. Possibly, she is giving him the news that his father, the king, lost his life, and that they must now prepare for what is coming. This conversation appears to take place in Alicent's chamber. We move on to a scene in which we can see Alicent in front of the body of King Viserys. This one, has been wrapped as the Targaryens are accustomed to do, and will possibly be taken to continue with his cremation ritual. We can see that the crown is placed on top of his body. What will happen with this crown? Perhaps, this is the most important question posed by this photograph. Perhaps, with some sadness, we can see that Alicent observes the body of Viserys. Although she married the king out of commitment and duty, perhaps she came to love him in a certain way. After all, he was the father of her children, and he was also her friend for a long time. And of course, in the later episodes we saw how Alicent continually despised the king. Perhaps because she felt that he would never love her as he loved Emma, his first wife, nor would he love her children, as much as he loved Rhaenyra. Whatever the reason, their marriage is over, and now Alicent must take up his sword. The next photographs are of Eamon Targaryen. In this photograph, we can see how he wears a hood. Previously, we saw how every time Damon went to do something that a prince is not supposed to do, he used a hood to hide himself. Apparently, his nephew Eamon has taken a liking to his uncle's methods of camouflage, and has started dressing the same way. We can see that he also carries a dagger, or small sword. Possibly, Eamon has been sent to do something for Alicent. We can see another photograph, where he is seen next to a woman, while Eamon looks forward in annoyance. Perhaps, before starting a confrontation or fight. We move on to the most significant images that were revealed. Lyman Beesbury. The master of the coin. This appears to be during the meeting, after the death of Viserys. As we can see, 
It looks like he is not happy with what is being discussed. He is pointing and extremely upset. Perhaps, what is happening is that Lyman does not agree with the suggestions being made by the Hightower. But Lyman should speak carefully, for with the death of Viserys, danger could be approaching. This next episode, is one that will undoubtedly be the last straw that will cause the family to be definitively divided. Allison now thinks that King Viserys has given her the mission to set Aegon as king. And nothing will stop the Hightowers from preserving his life and power. According to these images, we could think that this episode will be focused on what happens in King's Landing, after Viserys lost his life, and possibly it will be focused on the Greens. Maybe we won't see much of Rhaenyra and her side during this episode. It could be one of the best episodes in terms of political strategy, and the show of how a coup d'etat could happen, in a kingdom that appeared to be strong. There are other official images that have also been revealed, but we will be talking about them in the future, but we are definitely excited and looking forward to what will happen in this penultimate episode of this first season. The House of the Dragon has certainly met and exceeded all the expectations we had with this series. With each episode, the emotions increase, and I'm more than sure that just like me, you are also excited to find out how this first season concludes. But tell me, what do you think will happen in this episode? Will Rhaenyra's transition and takeover of power be accepted peacefully? Or will Alicent help his son to be the one to sit on the throne? Let me know what you think in the comments. And for more videos of theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe and the House of the Dragon, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, The Three-Eyed Raven.